why. So a commenter had asked about um, going up and down stairs on crutches, which for me, I found very difficult when I first got home from the hospital. I have talked to other people who uh, don't know what I'm talking about. They said they just figured it out. It was obvious um, intuitively, but I had to practice, watch videos myself. And especially when you first get home from the hospital, you're in pain, you're stressed out, everything is difficult. And trying to figure out to deal with the stairs was just another hassle. So at first, when I first got home and kind of had to get up and down stairs, I just went up, kind of sat down, had the crutches beside me, had the good foot up, and kind of came up, lowering, um, or I mean, lifting myself up one step at a time, bringing the crutches with me. And the same thing for going down. Just sort of move the crutches down, keep the foot up, move myself down, which gets tiring and annoying. So, when you're ready to try it, going up is easier than coming down. So for going up, you start with the crutches on the same level as you. You don't try to put them up first. You want your foot behind you like we walk. Pressing in, just lifting the foot up, bringing the crutches up to the level of the foot, and again. Crutches come up to the same level as the foot, and then you bring the good foot up. And then coming down, which is trickier. Now the mistake people make, first of all, you want to have the bad foot forward. Normally we walk with it behind us, but it might trip or get knocked coming down. So you keep it forward. The main disaster people do, I won't even really do it, I'll simulate it, is they try to have the crutches on the same level as their feet. And then when you lower down, you have too much momentum, you kind of fall. And in many cases, face plant. You can watch videos of that, of the unfortunate people, um, which I almost did the first time. So what you want to do is you take the, the good foot up, you bring the crutches down to a level below your other foot, and then press down, keeping the good foot up. So crutches always going below you, crutches going first, then lowering down. So that's the one option. If there's a handrail, I actually find that's a little better for me. So again, coming up, the foot will be, the bad foot would be behind you. Crutches on the same level as yourself, bringing the good foot up. Crutches come up, good foot up, crutches up. So if there's a handrail, that seems like it's sturdy, it's not going to fall or break. I'll use this side. I take both crutches in one hand, and the other hand holds onto the handrail, and again, the foot will be forward, the bad foot will be forward and up. So again, you're gonna bring the crutches down to a level below you, hand on the handrail, both at the same level, then come down with the foot. Crutches below you, holding onto the handrail, lowering down. Crutches down first, move your hand on the handrail further down, then come down. Just never, 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 Try to lower yourself down when your crutches are at the same level as your body, you will fall forward. It's just one other little tip. This might seem obvious when you're uh, navigating around your house, especially if you live alone, which I do. So if you want a glass of water or something, it's kind of difficult every time you need any little thing. So wherever I go, kind of all day around the house, I take my little pack with me. A backpack might also work even better. Something that you can keep on you securely and use with your crutches. And the things I put in mine are my phone, water bottle, book, my pain medication, and sunglasses because I'm able to kind of go outside and read a little bit. So if you have all these things um, and you take it with you all the time, it's a lot less hassle if you kind of get to one place, realize you're thirsty, you need your medicine, you need your phone. Um, so just, even if I'm going to a short trip somewhere else in the house, 
it really helps to have that with you, especially again when I said when you're alone. So hope this video helped and hope your healing is coming along well and you're able to navigate and do the best that you can while you are on crutches.